In this video, we are going to look at the questions in the household follow-up form. These questions are designed as a follow-up verification form which will be admitted separately to each of the household member who currently reside with the pulmonary TB index patient. These are administrated to those household contacts that need follow-up and have been administrated the HH screening form. The HHC can be those who are initiated on TPT or those who needs to be initiated on TPT. The questionnaire comprises of eight sections. The first section is titled Field Staff Details. It comprises of the staff details who are visiting the household for the follow-up visit. Here, the first question is to enter the date to household visit. Next, you have to enter the state of the household. Now select the district of the household. In the next question, you have to select the name of the counsellor visiting the household. Now, you have to select the TBU of the household. Once you have entered the inputs for this section, swipe to the next section titled Patients Details. The first question here asks you to enter the index patient's Nikshay ID. Note that the length of the Nikshay ID has to be between 7 to 8 characters. The next step is to enter the household member's unique ID. The unique ID can only have alphabets example A, B, C, etc. Next, you have to enter the patient's full name. The next question is to select the mode of screening. Next, you have to enter the status of the follow-up visit. Here, if you select the option connected to patient or connected to relatives, the next question will be, is this visit to initiate a patient on TPT? If you select the option to reschedule the follow-up, the next step would be to enter the next follow-up date. By entering the next follow-up date, you can exit the survey. The next question is whether or not the visit was to initiate the patient on TPT. If you select yes, this will lead you to a section titled TPT refill. If you select no as the option, the next question would be, do you provide consent for TPT counselling? If the consent for TPT counselling is provided, The screen will shift to the next section titled Patient Counseling Adherences. If you select No as the option, this will lead you to the TPT refill section. Under Patient Counseling Adherences, the first question is to enter the patient's weight. Next, you have to select whether the medication was taken regularly or not. If you select yes as the option, you will be taken to the next section titled Patient Counseling – Side Effects. If selected no, the next step would be enter the count of missed doses in the last 30 days. The next step is to enter the reason for missed doses. You can select all that options that apply. If you have reasons other than the options, select the last option 95 equals others and specify the reason for missed doses. The next section is titled Patient Counseling – Side Effects. This section captures the side effects observed by the patient while taking TPT. Here, the first question asks whether the patient was facing any side effects of the medication. If there are no side effects, the screen will shift to the next section titled Patient Counseling TB Symptoms.
Next, you have to mention where the adverse event was managed. Now, select the outcome of the adverse event managed. On entering all the required inputs, swipe to the next section titled Patient Counseling TB Symptoms. Here, the first question is whether the patient is facing any TB symptoms. If there are no symptoms, the next section titled TPT Refill will appear. If you select Yes, the next step will be to select among a list of symptoms. Next, specify whether the patient has done any test for TB diagnosis. Here, you can select either Yes or No. If No is selected, then the counsellor will go to the section titled TPT Refill. If the patient is tested for TB diagnosis, the next step will be to specify the type of test being taken. Now, specify the date of test. The next question asks the final interpretation of the tests on the status of active TB. Note that this question is to be filled by the counsellor visiting the household after confirming with the patient. If the test is positive, the screen will shift to a section titled Treatment Outcome. If the test is negative or inconclusive, the screen will shift to the section titled TPT Refilling. You will directly go to this section if TB diagnosis was not done. In the first question here, you have to specify whether or not the patient was given TPT medication in the current visit. If the TPT medications were given, the next step will be to specify a place where the medication was handed over. If no TPT medications were given, the next step is to specify the reasons for not administering the TPT. If you select the reason outcome to be updated or doctor advised, The screen will shift to the Treatment Outcomes section. If you select the reason, Not provided consent for refill or drug shortage, the next step will be to specify the next follow-up date. Once you have specified the next follow-up date, you can exit the survey. After you have specified the place where the medication was handed over, the next step is to select the type of regimen administered to the household members. On selecting any of these options, you will be asked to specify the quantity of the selected tablets. The next question is whether or not any supplementary medication was given to the household members. Note that this question is to be filled by the counsellor visiting the household. If you select yes, then you will have to specify the supplementary regime and the quantity of the supplementary tablets given to the household members. If you select no, you will be asked to specify who had prescribed TPT. The next question asks the number of tablets given to the patient. Next, specify the number of dates the tablet was given for. Now, enter the number of tablets per day. Then, you have to specify the next refill date. Once you have updated the inputs, you can exit the survey. The next section is titled Treatment. In this section, the counsellor will assign a treatment outcome to the visiting patient based on their interaction so far. The first step here is to select the treatment outcome. Next, you have to specify the outcome date. The next section is titled Exit Survey. 
Here, you have to provide the GPS coordinate of the household. The next step is for counsellor or household member comment. This is an optional field. Once all the data has been provided, you will reach the thank you screen. This completes the video on household follow-up form.